Hi, my name is Al Green. Not that one, but the, uh, the struggling guy who was in the music industry for years trying to sell talent and songs to agents. The agents befriended me and taught me techniques that I want to pass on to you through my program, which is called You Can Talk, You Can Sell. Anyone who has ever taken this program has excelled in selling and either risen to the top of their company, their team, or the top of their field. It's called You Can Talk, You Can Sell, and you can get it right here. Hi, Alfred Green again. You can talk, you can sell. I have more techniques for you. These are all going to be enjoyable and bring in more sales for you. Just follow the simple steps. But first, I want to add one thing. You know what the coolest thing about being in sales is? The coolest thing about it is, is that if you're a salesperson, you can get a job wherever you want, whenever you want to because salespeople are such a wanted commodity that companies search high and low to find good ones. You can always get a job and you don't have to go to the job fair and you don't have to apply at HR and fill it out an application. The best technique is to go to a sales manager of any company that has salespeople. Ask to speak to them personally. You know how to find out who they are. It's not hard to locate the sales manager and get past the, um, the person who's trying to screen out all the calls. It's very simple to do. You call and you ask for the sales manager if you don't know their name. Just ask for the sales manager. Get a hold of that person, ask them when they're in, you need to come by and see them. If they say, what is this regarding? Say it's regarding business for you. Now here's an interesting concept. It doesn't work 100% of the time, but it works every time either me or one of my coaching clients have used it. Is that you go in to the sales manager and let's say, for example, you're selling business equipment, copiers, for example, or whatever it is. And you know that this is something that you can sell because after all, you can sell anything. And you ask the sales manager this question If I sell, how many of these would I have to sell for me to get one for myself? And that could be cars. It could be, I knew a guy that did that selling pianos. He went to a piano dealer because there are piano dealers and they sell these pianos for thousands of dollars. And he said, how many of these would I have to sell for me to get one of my own? And it almost always works that the sales manager says, let me ask you a question. Um, are you working right now? <laughs> How are you going to get your customers? But they're going to show an interest in you. If you're already working, just look at it this way. You already have sold yourself to somebody, so you've already made that sale. The coolest thing about sales is it's a profession where you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars working for the right company, and you don't have to have a college education. You don't have to have a degree, a medical degree, or a science degree or have 30 years in, you could start today just by talking. That's the beauty of you can talk, you can sell. So what is going to help propel you? Once you get into any sales position, you can learn how to work the referral system because referrals will bring you a complete pipeline of customers as long as you work them. And every customer that you gain from a referral can, can usually be good at up to six more customers that will refer you. And each one of those can refer more customers to you. Not only me, but several other people that were working in the industry I was in, 90% of us that were in the top five of the sales people in the company lived off of referrals. Almost 100% of our business came from referrals because we worked referrals. Now, how do you do that? It's very simple. You have a customer. And you're giving them your presentation or introducing yourself. And you haven't gone into your presentation, but you're getting the customer to talk. And, and then you ask them a question that's very simple. 
Um, is there anybody you know that could benefit from this particular product? There's a guy that sold jet skis. Now, that's kind of interesting because jet skis can cost a few thousand dollars. It's like the guys I have known that sold motorcycles. They can spend thirteen dollars to $20,000 on a motorcycle. Is there anybody else that you know that would be interested in talking to our company to provide whatever the services are for the motorcycles, whether it's insurance or whether it's a specific type of an add-on? And a lot of times you'll hear a customer say, did you talk to McCullough up the street? And interestingly enough, now, if you're going to be a consultant, just remember to have the appearance of a person in that industry. You're not going to be dressed like me in a coat and tie and walk into a motorcycle dealer that sells Harley Davidson and expect to sell them anything. Now, if I walked in wearing a leather jacket and jeans, and boots, and maybe if I had my hair slicked down a little bit more, or I put on a persona that I'm a guy who rides motorcycles, they might be willing to talk to me. But they're gonna look at me and they're gonna say, oh, the guy's a suit dweeb, <laughs> okay? When I sold into the music industry, I made the big mistake of dressing this way. They don't dress like that in the music industry. They dress casual, they dress cool, they dress with the trends. I learned real quickly that I was a fish out of water there. But I still worked the referrals and learned how to get to the other people in the industry. And I did a lot of that work by phone. And when they asked to see me in person, I took off my tie. I was still very professional. And I was taught by some of the best people in the industry that were very, very professional. They didn't wear ties either, but they wore suits with dress shirts and no ties. And I had several people, I was lucky enough to have them take me by the hand and tell me how to sell in that industry. From that, I learned enough to be able to build this coaching program by using it in other businesses and training people on the simplest methods. Some of them like the one I mentioned here, by dealing with advertising people, advertising sales reps that would sell thousands and thousands of dollars to companies on the basis that they might get some business from it. That whatever they spent, they would recoup five times over over the next year. And then when they had a company that called them and said, OK, I got the ad. Now I've got all these people calling me. What do I do? They would want to go out and offer to train their salespeople on how to close them. And one of the biggest things they did, and I learned it too, was to tell those salespeople to work referrals. Each person is worth a name of somebody else. They sold to homeowners. They sold these very elaborate and expensive water treatment systems for the whole house. And that included some of the instant on hot water. They sold a lot of water treatment. And they would get people who own homes to buy thousands of dollars worth of their equipment and services by working referrals. Do you think your neighbor would be interested in this? Sometimes they would say, well, what's in it for me? Well, we do have a referral fee. A lot of times referral fees will work getting referrals. But when you get referrals, you build a pipeline of referrals. You always have people to call on. You always have people that you can get to know. And after a while, you get a reputation for being available and being professional and being a person of your word. You're going to have people that do what they did for me. You have to call my gal, at my guy, Al, because he'll take care of you. Or my gal, Gina, because Gina will be on the money for you. She will take care of you. And she will make sure that you get the best out of your product or service. That kind of referral is free advertising. And it's all for the asking. But another cool thing about being in sales is that these are the kind of things you get to do. You can't do that if you work by the hour. You can't go to your boss and say, could you get me someone that will give me more hours? They might have a 40 hour a week limit, or maybe you can only work eight hours a day and you're not allowed to do overtime without permission. You can't ask for it by someone referring it. When you're in sales, you don't have that kind of limitation because the more business you bring your company, the more valuable you are to them. And the more consistent you do it, 
the more valuable you are. And if you want to go to any other company, you've already got a reputation that you can take with you because many companies are looking for people just like you, people who are just willing to talk and get out there and find customers. You may not hit the ground running right away, but you will hit the ground running. And your sales will come in, and it's all because you can talk. These are such simple things. Stay with me. There will be more. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to seeing you in the next session.